Welcome back to this channel. In this tutorial we'll be creating a particle-based visual using chops, SOPs, and tops. Throughout this tutorial, we'll cover key techniques like working with noise chops, creating smooth instancing data, and refining visuals with tops. So without further ado let's get started. Let's start by adding a noise chop. Create three channels, TX, TY, and TZ. Change the start and end type to samples. And set the end samples to 19,999. Starting from zero this gives us exactly 20,000 samples to work with. Think of it this way, if we instance one geometry per sample, we'll end up with 20,000 objects in total. Now, use the abstime.seconds expression in the TZ parameter. It's always a good practice to add a null at the end. Next, add a math chop. And change combined channels to add. Follow it with a rename chop. Rename this channel to TZ. Now, merge these three channels. We'll also use an info chop to extract the number of samples. Moving into the SOP domain, add a sphere SOP and set its rows and columns to 100 by 100. To reduce compute load, turn off the display flag of the operators. Now, add a null SOP after the sphere. Let's dive into the CHOP domain using a SOP2. Then, add a pattern chop. We gonna use the length parameter from the info chop to set its length. Let's rename this pattern to TX. Now, duplicate this pattern twice. Rename their channel to TY and TZ. And change their types to triangle and cosine. Merge these patterns using a merge chop. Then use a math chop to combine these operators by division. Also match them by channel name. Both chops need to have the same number of samples, which is why we referenced the info chop's length. If the sample count is too high, we can always use a resample chop to fix it. Turn off time slice. Set method to new rate, new interval. And unit to absolute. Use samples for start and end type. And reference the length of the info chop in the end parameter of the resample. Since we start from zero, subtract one from the expression. Now we have exactly 20,000 samples. Add a null chop. Then multiply the two chops using a math chop. And finish this section with another null. Moving into the top domain, 
Add a chop to top. Change data format to RGB and image input to fit to square. Add a null top after it. In case we need modifications later. Now, let's build a simple feedback loop using a feedback top, followed by a level top and a composite top. Connect the chop to in the composite top and set its operation type to dimmest. Now, we need two more composite tops. Connect the chop to into the second composite along with comp1. For composite 3, use comp1 and comp2 as inputs. Bring in a constant chop and connect it to two math chops. Then, add two speed chops after the math chops. Set the first math chops multiply value to 10. And the second one to 15. Go to the speed chops and limit them using loop. Set the max loop value to 45 for both of the speeds. Add two nulls after the speed chops. These null chops will control the operation of the composite tops. Now we have our instance data. Rename the final null chop to instance. We'll use this data to instance thousands of small particles. For the particles, add a rectangle SOP and a transform SOP to adjust its scale. Now, build the render network by adding a geometry comp Set uniform scale to 0.003. A camera comp. Set its C translation to 4.8. A constant MAT for material. And at the end, a render top. In the render top, change viewer smoothness to nearest pixels, and pixel format to 32-bit float RGBA. Now, head over to the geometry comp and enable instancing. We will use this null named instance as our default instance OP. For translate X, Y, and Z, select R, G, and B respectively. Next, let's build another feedback loop. Add a feedback top, a level top, and a composite top. Set the composite operation to add. And connect the render top as the second input of this composite. Lower the opacity by 0.1 to create a subtle blending effect. To give this visual a melting look, we'll use the Bloom Comp from the palette. Adjust the settings as follows. Bloom Size 10, Contrast 0.36,
glow level 0.036. Change the glow color to red. Now, let's add some RGB delay using the RGB delay comp from the palette. The visual might look a bit dull at this stage. So we'll tweak the brightness, gamma, and contrast using a level top. Use these exact settings in the level top to get the right balance. To finalize the look, add a transform top and set the background color to black. Make sure to turn on, comp over background color, so everything blends properly. Finally, wrap it all up by adding a null top at the end of the network. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Play around with the settings, experiment with colors, and make it your own. If you want to dive deeper, you can find this project file on my Patreon, where I upload all my files and more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, happy creating.